Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, March 28th, 2019. I hope you guys are having a great week. We are almost at the weekend, yay. Um, some good news, today is March 28th, which means Mercury starts going direct after today. Finally, I mean, this one has been a really very, very strong, very, very strong um, retrograde for the emotions. Um, I don't usually get all that affected by Mercury being in retrograde, but this time it, um, it was moving through Pisces. And for all of us, it was really just a big purge, like a super, super emotionally purging situation for a lot of us. And that's really what we've been talking about here in Morning Coffee this week. So I'm really excited to see what comes out today um, for this last day of that retrograde. Um, yeah, so let's just get straight to it. But I do want to let you guys know I will be doing happy hour tonight. So if you would like to get on the list in advance, you can go right ahead and just send payment and make sure uh, to my PayPal account, but also make sure that you put your question in the notes section. Yes. And if you like, you can let me know um, that it's for a uh, happy hour. Happy hour questions are uh, answered in the single for a single question format, and they are $20 discounted to $20 instead of 30 during happy hour only. OK. All right, guys. So let's just get straight to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Thursday, March 28th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, and you guys, I actually do really want to focus today's reading on um, just kind of closing up, wrapping up this retrograde. Now, keep in mind, after today, yes, Mercury does go direct, but it is still going to be in its shadow period for the next two weeks or so. So you know what? Let's focus on that. Let's talk about this shadow period coming up. Um, things are going to be starting to smooth out, but I guess you can treat this shadow period like um, like a mini retrograde. Like I don't I I don't know how to say it, how I'm feeling it, but it's just like keep just stay cautious. You know, you're we're not completely out of the woods yet. But now is time. Now we can start to, um, you know, get the gears running. You can see. Okay, spirit is showing it to me this way. It, um, think about it. And you know, uh, during the dead of winter, and you have a car, and you know it's been out overnight. It's like, I don't know, below freezing and blah blah blah. And you go out to start the car to warm up the car before you drive out to work or something like that. I mean, you don't. I don't, I'm not saying you technically have to start your car before, but the, it's it's a habit and a lot of people advise it, so whatever. Um, and I'm also not a mechanic, so what am I even talking about? <laughs> but it's that it's like that, okay? You're starting your car um, before you, like to warm up your car before you go off to drive to work or something like that. So that's, I guess, how you can really see. That's what Spirit was showing me. So I do, I do want to talk specifically about this, the shadow period that we're entering as Mercury is going direct. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. All right, let's see what we've got here, Spirit, for today, March 28th, 2019, but also, um, let's talk specifically about the shadow period please spirit Ooh, okay we got something already so this shadow period mercury moving direct mercury moving direct for the next two weeks uh, 
Okay, there we go. Awesome. Now give me just a second here because I do have some cards that flipped over. We've got, yeah, the Ten of Wands. Okay. The Seven of Cups. Yep. The Chariot. All right. Well, if that's not a significator, I don't know what is. Underneath the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. Okay. Now, the Ace of Swords is talking about... Um, it's talking about what you learn, what we've all learned through this retrograde season, all right? The chariot is, you, you definitely can see the chariot as a symbol of Mercury going direct here, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. Um, okay, so uh, Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands, all right? So during this, um, during this shadow period, moving forward after, uh, from Mercury going being in retrograde, going direct, being in this shadow period, there is going, there should be a good amount of clarity, a good amount of clarity coming through for you during, we'll say, this next two weeks. Um, it, the Seven of Cups is, to me, is symbolizing all of the swirling emotions that we've been dealing with. Because, like I said, this Mercury retrograde, this last one, has been super super emotional okay um and there's just it's it's almost as if things have been coming at us from all different directions things that we didn't really know we were still hurt by or were still affecting us or we still needed to heal okay and so with that we're all moving direct here so we're all you know getting the ball rolling getting our emotions balanced and potentially getting inspired or feeling more passionate towards our dreams, our goals and desires. For some of us, this Mercury retrograde, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups, for some of us, it helped us define what it is we want in life and bring greater direct, uh, greater f um, defining uh, or greater direction into our lives, maybe even bringing back the passion into our lives, okay? Um, and so with this shadow period that we're moving into as Mercury's going direct, we have the Ten of Wands, the release of burdens. Um, lessons learned, you could say, in carrying things that no longer serve you. You have gained some sort of illumination, and now as we're moving, as Mercury's moving direct, you have the ability to cut some things out of your life that no longer serve you. That's pretty freaking awesome. Let's see what else we have here. Excellent. The Nine of Wands, yep. The Ten of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Devil. That's really interesting. Now, what I like to see is that the King of Wands energy has his back to the Devil and is looking at the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? So again, we have 1010, okay? That number has been following us around for quite some time now. But um, also the Ten of Pentacles is a lesson learned kind of energy. Um, that's so awesome. You have the Nine of Wands in reverse here. So this is no longer fighting the uphill battle, okay? No longer having to just get through it. Uh, oh, and so another thing that's coming through here at this moment, um, my friend Betsy of Fearless Intuition, she mentioned that, you know, during this retrograde period, retrograde, se uh, yeah, this retrograde period, emotions are going to be really running really high and it's not a time to deal with them logically. You'll really just have to feel them. Just feel your way through them. And so now that Mercury is going direct, you have, you can start looking at things logically and making those cuts, okay? And that's, that makes perfect sense. The Nine of Wands in reverse is giving up that uphill battle or giving up or no longer having to just persevere and get through it, okay? You have the Ten of Pentacles, which is talking about, again, talking about more lessons learned. But also, um, well, okay, first of all, with the lessons learned here, it's like your physical existence, your corporeal existence, okay? This is, this is setting, you up, setting you up to be, to get towards your greater, um, 
fulfillment in life. It set you up to... The, mer the retrograde has set you up to um, reach a new goal in your life physically, in your physical existence. And this may be something that you may have been, like a lesson you may have been trying to learn throughout this lifetime, a major lesson. And so now as we're moving direct, again, you have more instances of lessons learned here in, in the Ten of Pentacles. King of Wands is um, re-instilling your self-confidence, maybe gaining a new sense of self-confidence, having a greater idea of what you want and not being afraid to go after it, knowing when the right time to strike is. And then you have the devil here. Okay, I just heard the devil is in the details. Um, now also, the king of wands can be a pretty prideful energy, very egoic, uh, could also be pretty narcissistic, but coupled with the devil here, even though the back, his back is to the devil, um, so moving into this shadow period, you know, you, you may have overcome some devilish things. Um, you may have turned your back on some fears, anxieties. Um, and all that stuff. Don't, yeah, they keep saying the devil is in the details. Also, the other thing I want to tell you is don't allow yourself to really get too... overzealous, I guess, um, just because, you know, I guess I should say humble yourself a bit here uh, as we're moving through this shadow period, because again, it is a shadow period. So also there's nothing to fear. Um, there could be a situation, like it, it's it's going direct. It's not, we're not completely out of the woods yet. That's what I mean. So still keep your wits about you. Um, there could be some resurgences of things trying to pop up, trying to pull you back a little bit. But again, that is effect of the shadow period that we're still in. So again, like I said, we're not completely out of the woods yet, okay? But, um, but then the big message here is that the devil is in the details. So use this shadow period to really go through things with a fine tooth comb and really make sure that you got the lesson down. You're really releasing the burdens with the Ten of Wands. You really got the lesson down with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? That's excellent. So now we're going to get some clarification. I'm going to use the Epic Tarot here. And I'm just going to do it in the two uh, columns we have. Okay, so I do want to speak to the fact that some cards came out face up and some face down. That was an element yesterday, so I feel like I need to explain it today. So the cards that came face up, those were really talking about actively coming out of um, the retrograde, okay? It talked a little bit about what the retrograde was and, what the, and a little bit about what the shadow period is... Um, helping us achieve but then the nine the, the 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 rest of the cards on the bottom that really came up face down um those are the cards that are speaking to um the real elements of the shadow period okay i hope that made sense <laughs> you have to forgive me i am still feeling the retrograde a little bit um i'm kind of tired today and uh, my brain is a little foggy right now, but I hope that made sense. So these cards were a glimpse, a little bit of a glimpse, but it was also really talking about the retrograde period itself and what we came out of, right? These cards down here are really the true like advice when it comes to the shadow period itself. Okay, perfect, there we go. One more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got here. So we're starting with the Chariot, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. All right, guys. 
best messages, please, Spirit, just some clarification. Okay, the Six of Cups in reverse. So obviously we are leaving the past behind with the end with the end of the retrograde, moving into the shadow period. Okay, 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 okay. So check it out, guys. Oh, excellent. Uh, underneath the deck is the Magician. Uh, yes. All right. You got the Six of Cups here that came out in reverse. You've got the uh, Fool here. You got the King of Pentacles. No, the Fool and the King of Pentacles came out sideways. And then you have the Knight of Wands. So, oh, and then we have two more face down. We'll talk about those in a second. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse is definitely talking about leaving the past behind. No questions asked. And that's an excellent, excellent thing. That... So a lot of that purging that we dealt with was about the fa was about the past, the emotions of the past, and all that stuff. But, like I said, we are leaving that behind, okay? And you've been doing a lot of work. It's been setting you up to really b leave the past behind you in a really, really big way. I'm not going to say it's all gone. But, hmm, excuse me, but... It's really setting, you, setting yourself up to leave the past behind, setting you up to start on a brand new journey with the Fool. Now, the Fool did come out sideways, and so did the King of Pentacles, okay? The King of Pentacles is being well-manifested, um, financially secure, stable, grounded, sure of themselves. Lots of masculine energy here between the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Um, but the reason why I think those came out sideways was because, again, Spirit is saying, well, Spirit is saying the shadow period, it's not quite over yet, but this is absolutely where you're setting yourself up to be, the Fool, King of Pentacles, well manifested and starting on a brand new journey, manifesting that with the, with the magician here, okay? Definitely manifesting it. But again, we're not quite out of the woods yet because... We're going moving into the shadow period. We have the Knight of Wands. So this is kind of some of the energy that this devil was talking about here. Don't be too hasty to get out of this. Don't think just because it's, you know, where it's Mercury's direct that things are 100% back to normal. Not the case. We still have the shadow, shadow period to deal with. And then we also have the Page of Wands. But then here's that Knight, the Nine of Wands again. Okay. Um... You're being re you're you're reborn, you're refreshed, okay? But there's still a little bit of perseverance. There's still a little bit of perseverance here, even though you have the nine of wands under he under on the bottom row, which was talking about the actual shadow period, like the advice for the shadow period. You'll be able to give up this fight. There's still a little bit left. There's still a little residual as we're moving into the very beginning, at least, I'll say, the very beginning of the shadow period. So maybe the first half of the shadow period, you might still be dealing with a lot of the perseverant, perseverant aspects of the situation. Okay. But you're being reborn, okay? You're definitely gaining. You're definitely gaining some new inspiration, new zest for life, okay? New excitement, happiness, joy exuberance okay we're coming out of it but spirit spirit literally just said we're coming out of it but guys we still have to deal with the shadow period i don't know why i mean i guess we have to just keep reminding people of that yes we do they say because there's this excitement right which is great but it's hasty you're moving a little bit too fast you gotta don't get ahead of yourself right now okay uh this is the knight of wands all right so now for the actual shadow period here. Okay, the actual advice for the shadow period. Let's get some clarification. Oh, well the sun just wanted to pop out. <laughs> Clarity, illumination, fear is gone. Underneath the deck is the queen of pentacles. There are the counterparts. That's beautiful. So, okay, first and foremost, what I'm picking up here, the advice for this shadow period is to allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to integrate, okay? I really don't feel like there's too much action you're really going to need to take during the shadow period in terms of balancing out from, you know, what you've been experiencing, okay? Um, 
So whereas the actual retrograde itself was helping you to get grounded and, manif and, and you know, uh, a better manifested version of yourself with this King of Pentacles here, um, maybe even sort of re reinstill some sort of commitment, maybe between yourself or, or like for yourself or between you and someone else or you and like a project or something. Maybe it's a creative project, especially with this page of wands here. What the Queen of Pentacles underneath the deck moving forward is speaking to is um, allowing something to come to you, allowing the manifestation to just happen, okay? You've been doing a hell of a lot of work during the actual retrograde, which has set you up to become way more balanced and get you moving in the right direction again with the chariot and to release some sort of burdens here with the ten of wands that's not underneath all this mess and so now moving forward into the shadow period you have a time of integration with the queen of pentacles to balance out greater illumination with the sun for some of you what this king of wands and the devil is speaking to and i just got this just now but this is the end of dealing with some sort of narcissistic tendencies or narcissistic people or narcissistic energies, very egoic energies that you may have um, entertained a lot in the past. But you see, the sun can speak to narcissism, but it also can speak to illumination. And it's been coming out all week and it's been speaking to that illumination that was just a really specific thing that just came through right now okay well, let's see what else we have we've got the seven of cups the ten of swords and te and temperance look at all these tens guys ten of wands ten of pentacles ten of swords the worst is behind you and you have the seven of cups again and i love the way the seven of cups is depicted in this deck because this person is like covering her eyes Either she's refusing to see something or she just doesn't want to get distracted. And during this shadow period, like I said, you're going to have the chance to cut some things out, to cut out the confusion, all the chaos and all that. Ten of Swords. Again, lessons learned. Look at all these tens. So many completions here. Ending of cycles of narcissism for sure for some of you. Spirit literally just said that. And then finally you have Temperance balancing out i told you during this shadow period you're going to be balancing out so just allow it to happen there really isn't too much work that you need to do just allow the balance to happen okay maybe spend these next two weeks um in a bit of a meditative state just taking it easy um, maybe not uh, I don't know, maybe spend some a good amount of time in solitude, whatever feels right for you, just to balance yourself out, to meditate, and all that good stuff. Okay. Well, ultimately, this feels good, you guys. This feels really, really good. Oh, also, Temperance is saying... Is, is 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 delivering our favorite P word, guys. Patience. Like I said, we're not out of the woods yet, okay? We still have to deal with the shadow period, but things are looking up. <laughs> All right. Um, what do we wanna do for Oracle Guidance this time, you guys? Uh, the animal spirits are calling. Yeah, and then I think I might just, I might just leave it there. Let's see what the animal spirits have to say. Okay, one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for the day. Alrighty. Ooh. Black egg. That's enough, they say. Okay. Excellent. And yeah, I'm really feeling like we should just leave it there for the Oracle Guidance today. So, okay. Black egg. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 
do, do, do, do, do, do, do, do. There we go. Okay. Black Egg. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures, the truth. Inside of it resides no confusion, except excuses, small talk, noise, or lies, not even white ones. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. Then this essence, I'm sorry, when this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in, books draw us in, the concept of the truth itself draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do I know to be true about myself? And what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things others want to hear, gossip, or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect. It is available at every moment in every situation. It is the epicenter of truth, the birthplace of our voice. The black egg and the fifth chakra. The subtle essence of this card resides at the base of the throat at the Visuddha chakra. The ancient sages saw this center as the hub that governs our speech and expression. Visuddha translates as especially pure. The balance of this center is important for all of us, but is especially essential for writers, editors, musicians, and teachers. And so actually, I really feel like that's super, super relevant because of the fact that we have been going through this period of re-identifying who we are for the most part, okay? There's been a lot of energies like that over this this uh, retrograde. And that's really what these emotions that we've been dealing with have been stirring up in us. Uh, Spirit just said a remembrance of who we are. So who we were or a greater understanding of who we are underneath all the pain and the turmoil and the hurt that we've been maybe harboring on harboring that have been that we've been needing to purge. You see the retrograde is not over yet. My, <laughs> I can like barely speak right now. But that's really beautiful, you guys. So as we move through this shadow period, and also look, this is kind of like a shadowy type thing, right? But as we move through this shadow period, it's about clearing up, cutting stuff away, and cutting out any sort of remnants of any sort of devilish activity that keeps us from being our true and authentic selves. The sun and temperance, illumination and balance. That's awesome, you guys. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. Keep in mind, I am doing happy hour tonight. So if you'd like to get on the list, go ahead and um, send payment and you can be on that list. Yeah, much love to you guys. Oh, and also I'll be getting the rest of the Zodiac readings out by the weekend. Yes? Okay, have a great day. Take care. Bye.